As a protection against inflation, buying gold is one of the key reasons people do so. Stocks typically decline during periods of high inflation, but the cost of gold might stay about the same. So do you want to know why you should want to buy gold? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Geopolitics and Money. On the other side, gold won't offer the large gains seen in the stock market when inflation is typical. Gold is popular among consumers because it has little volatility. Because of their extreme volatility, stocks and stock funds' values can change at any time. However, gold is more reliable, making it a good option for investors searching for a secure place to keep their money. When considering investing in gold, investors frequently desire a safety net in case the conventional stock market crashes. Since gold has been used as money for thousands of years, investors view it as a secure location to keep their money. Gold is easy to sell because its value is expected to be stable over the long run and won't be significantly lower than what you paid for it. Additionally, given the longevity of gold, there is likely to always be a market with eager purchasers. The stock market also declines when an economy enters a recession, which Goldman Sachs predicts will happen in 2023 with a 35% probability. During a recession, real estate assets may also lose value. When this happens, investing in gold can help you diversify your portfolio, lower your exposure to these riskier assets, and lessen the severity of any losses. Rising interest rates and bond yields are the current trends. Fixed income investments are therefore growing more appealing. As a result, investing in fixed income assets is a wise choice. Buying gold in bars or coins is one of the more emotionally fulfilling ways to do it. You'll enjoy the gratification of seeing and touching it, but if you own more than a small amount, ownership also comes with significant disadvantages. The requirement to protect and ensure actual gold is one of the biggest downsides. Purchasers of physical gold are entirely dependent on an increase in the price of the commodity to turn a profit. This is in contrast to business owners where a firm like a gold mining company can generate more gold and as a result more profit, raising the investment in that business. How to buy gold you can buy physical gold. If you're investing in gold for the first time, it's easy to become confused because there are so many various types and brands of gold bars available. The ideal place to start is by choosing the most well-known gold bars from the top brands in the world. When you purchase a gold bar, you are paying for investment-grade gold and doing so only for the gold content that it contains. All of the bars you can see here are now 24 carats or 99 9.99% pure gold, which is the required purity for high investment grade gold bars. This is what most people see when they consider investing in gold, sometimes known as bullion. You can buy gold stocks. How? While purchasing shares in a gold mining firm carries some risk, it also gives you ultimate discretion over the exact companies you decide to invest in. Investors might, for instance, choose a gold mining business that upholds strict environmental responsibility over one that does not. While holding stock won't allow you to have gold in your hands, it does provide you with the advantage of having a liquid asset. Study up on stocks. You can also invest in gold funds. When you invest in gold mutual funds, you don't actually own the gold or individual equities. Instead, you hold shares in numerous gold-related assets, such as numerous companies that mine or process gold. Gold exchange-traded funds or mutual funds provide a level of diversity that a single stock does not, as well as having greater liquidity than owning real gold. If you subscribe to this channel, you will get a gold coin for free. <laughs> Just kidding. Have you heard about gold futures, an agreement to acquire or sell a specific quantity of gold at a later time, is known as a gold futures contract. What is exchanged on an exchange is the contract itself. Although there are no administration fees and better liquidity for gold futures than for real gold, brokerages may levy a trade fee, also known as a commission, for each contract. Remember that trading futures contracts have a high level of risk and are not a good choice for a novice investor. With these investments, you run the risk of losing more money than you put in. Coins or bars, pros and cons of each. 
Gold bars are a preferable approach to investing in gold for seasoned and large-scale investors. When compared to their smaller counterparts, these huge bars are typically the most affordable. There is a drawback to purchasing huge bars, though. These bars lack the ability to be sold like the smaller ones. This is due to the fact that fewer buyers are available due to the larger size and hence the greater cost of huge gold bars. When a gold bar or bullion owner tries to sell these items, there may be additional handling fees because bars are large pieces of gold that can be challenging to melt and reshape. The value of premiums on gold is generally rising as well. The actual cost of these bars depends on a number of market variables that are active at any one time. When it comes to price, gold coins are more expensive than gold bars. With the exception of this one drawback, gold coins are typically more likely than gold bars to be useful. The availability of gold coins in various weights from 0.5 grams to 100 grams is by far their most notable feature. As a result, gold coins can always be acquired according to a person's current level of purchasing power. Due to their tiny size, gold coins have the additional benefit of being very easy to trade. You don't have to wait around for a buyer because the client base for these expands automatically. Where to buy it? How do I purchase gold mutual funds, stocks, and ETFs? The best way to include exposure to gold in your portfolio is frequently through investing in a gold stock, ETF, or mutual fund. You will require a brokerage account, which you may open with an online broker, in order to purchase a gold stock or fund. You can choose the gold-rated assets you want to invest in and place an order for them on your broker's website once your account has been paid. How to store it? Some people prefer to keep their gold at home, but if this is your personal taste, there are a few things you should consider. First, safety. You need to make sure that your priceless metals are housed in a suitable space away from moisture and other corrosives. The second item to think about is insurance, specifically if you have sufficient homeowner's insurance that includes coverage for jewelry or other valuables. The third consideration is social awareness. The fewer people who know that you own precious metals, the better. To prevent any problems, be careful not to divulge too much information to someone you might not trust. Therefore, if you're tempted to share pictures of yourself carrying gold bars on social media, resist the urge because it can draw unwelcome attention. Another way to store gold is by keeping it in a locker. Since they already trust their bank with their money, those who select this storage option frequently directly rent a safe deposit box from them. So what do you think? Is gold investment a good thing or a bad thing? Do comment below. Also, refer to other videos on our channel too. Never forget to hit the subscribe, like, and bell icons.